Hi. Hi guys. Today we're going to be looking at shaping the brow. And before we're going to do that do this, we're going to be we're going to trim the brow. So you're going to be brushing in a downward motion and using your scissor. Trim along the edges here. The difference. You brush down. This is just brow maintenance, just keeping them the hairs from being a bit too long. It does it, it thins it out a bit to cut down on the thickness. And the stray hairs. Okay. I'm going to start to fill in Candy's brows. I'm going to use my wax. You can use your pencil or your powder. And you're going to start at the high point here with most of the product. Carrying it down to the tail. And you're going to make hair like strokes like this. Just follow the, the growth of the hair. You want it to be the most natural. So you're going to get some more wax on this thing here. every now and again you just you stop and you just check to make sure that you know, you're getting the proper look that you want thank you I'm gonna start here she doesn't need a lot of filling in more just more towards the outer areas just to give it you know, that's get, getting the brows to look similar. She has a really nice shape already. And no two brows are the same, like no two eyes. Well, you have some people with the perfect face, but for most of us, you know, one brow might be higher or shaped a little differently. So you're just going to use your pencil and, or your, your brush, just create a bit more lightness for the brow. You come down to the tail here. You step back and check. Notice the hair like strokes. I'm going to use my powder just to set it. Let's go over it lightly. Take your time because remember that the brows frame the face, and you want to make sure you're not going on the road with a surprised expression on your face or a frightened look. You just Remember, hair like strokes. Just filling this up to just try and get it to match this brow right here. She has a little bit more going on here. 
this brow is a little naturally thinner so you just want to fill it in you just try and get it as close as possible work the product through it. Just brush out. Just working it, brushing it out just gives it, it allows the product to blend in more naturally. Okay, and there you have it girls. And if you want, you can use brow gel just to keep it in place. Remember the one that I told you, it could be clear mascara or you have Revlon products or MAC brow gels. Alright, thank you again for tuning in to Sherada Baker Beauty and stay tuned for more videos. Bye guys.